Hi everybody, it is Sharon from Vivid Days Sporting, a very new to me haircut. Come back to what it was originally when I was in Australia and it feels so good and I've gone lighter. Uh, but don't worry, my hair will grow again. But at the minute, I'm just enjoying it. Anyway, me and Ethan are about to head off out and explore a local pub. Just had my nails done, I've gone quite turquoise. It looks bright blue there, but it's actually like a turquoise colour. And uh, yeah, if it's first time meeting me, hello. If you are a regular, thank you for coming back. This video is not a premiere, it's because it was quite short and I did run out of time. But it's a tutorial on how I create clouds and to talk through my process. I'm doing that because I'm imagining the paintbrush in my hands. Uh, so stay and watch this video. Hopefully you'll get something out of it. In my next tutorial, it will be breaking down waves and how to get one looks like it's rolling one. And that's all it's gonna be on. And I've got a few re resin videos coming out, so yay. Anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you on the next one. Hope you well, well, hope you're well, <laughs> hope you're safe, hope you're creative. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye bye. Hi, Sharon from Vivid Days. Today's video, we are using a artist pad, which is one for acrylic paints and it's A3. I've split it into two halves. I'm going to just show you how I create clouds and hopefully you'll find value in this tutorial and it'll give you the courage to try clouds or just have some fun. doesn't matter what blue or white you use. You can use any color you want. I've just got some phthalo blue and some titanium white. That's all I'm going to be using. And on the top one, I am mainly going, mainly, mainly going to be using this brush here. I call it a round chisel. I don't think that's the actual official time. It is a round size 10 brush or a J2. It's been loved and used a lot. The reason I call it chiseled. Oh, a little pointy there. You can see it's love. And I'm going to use it for painting in loosely my uh, blue, blue sky. And then I'm just going to use this with my um, brush. And we're going to, in this one, do fairly big clouds but not too many and we'll start with a darker undertone and come to lighter and on the bottom one we're going to do more fluffy clouds don't worry i will will we will bring them in closer i've got a little palette got my blue here got my white i'm gonna add a little bit of white not white water to my canvas pad not too much uh, mainly just to help move that acrylic paint across that canvas a little bit better so you don't really need to see me do this too much so i will just speed it up but i'm basically just going to add my blue tone it down with white i have just painted in all my blues very loosely um there is masking tape around there to help edge this and show you the clouds and on the top one we're probably going to have more clouds and on the bottom one fluffier ones that's what I'm going with, but I might change my mind. But at the minute, the brush I've got is very much love one. Uh, but if I do go to a bigger one, I will show you what that one looks like. Normally, I use my big round one, but I'm going to show you that you can do clouds in any one. You've just got to work out which one's going to work for you. I will start with white and a little bit of the blue in the clouds. And then I will slowly build it up until it's pure white for some highlights. That's what we're going to do. So I've mixed it up. It's almost a sky colour, so you just add a little bit more in there until it becomes slightly lighter and I wipe off my excess. Look at that brush. That brush has been loved a lot. And I'm thinking of maybe having my first cloud coming in here, going quite loose. Circular motions. So my first one will appear. And then I think I'm going to have one coming down here. Yeah. You don't want to keep a solid colour. I keep it in my between my fingers. That's just my preference. And one from at the back. And not only am I doing the circular motions there, I'm actually spinning it as well, trying to get the excess paint off. Uh, and trying to keep a little bit of gaps in there. I'm making sense, I hope I am to you. And just keep going until you're happy and then build them up. I don't want it to be identical either side. 
I want to help with the illusion that they're from the distance to the foreground. And go on here. Scuffing that paint off. And then I'm not painting anything else from cloud, so I can afford to come a little bit lower. Okay, so that's the essence of where my clouds are going to be. And now I am going to build on that. So we add in a little bit more white and again, very little paint on there. Take it off if you need to. And then go back to where your first one was. And try not to go over everything that you've done before and try and keep your brush strokes loose and twisting. And uh, you don't want, I'm not going to want them all to be the same. I want some to be more, um, dramatic than others but this is what we do it does i'm making some wispy i'm just letting it drag off onto the canvas and it tell me what it wants to do might keep that one darker and then just make this one uh, come in and again, try not to have, I'm not putting too much pressure on now, but circular motions and scuffing it off. Turn my brush around there, therefore there's more on my brush. So with that one, I was dragging it along and just swiping it and then adding uneven pressure and that helps with that little gap. Print it through, turn it around, and that's almost where I do on the canvas. This one. bring these ones to the forefront again some more white Alright, one last go over but restraint in just certain areas to make it look like where maybe the sun's catching the ones that are higher. But again, fairly uneven. Don't know what's 
happening there, so just soften that a bit. Some dreamy clouds there and I think I'd I would stop there and I just again there are no even clouds but you just want them to I want those to look and fluffy and they do I'm very happy with that I'd leave that if I was painting a lovely mountain there or Ocean, it was good, but we're sticking to clouds. All right, the bottom one, I'm going to drag you in a little bit closer. Maybe this time we're just going to have one, one big cloud. A little bit of the blue to start with, because the other one, blue's dried now in the background. So I'm going to have one dramatic cloud coming in here. Hickety hickety hops. Building up that nice little, almost like night sky or storm cloud. If you put a little bum on your cloud, which is adding just that tiny little bit of darkness down there, helps it look flat, a bit more ominous. Okay, we'll build on that and oh, it almost looks like night, doesn't it? And then I'm going to have one single little one here. And I'm going to pull it across straight to make it look wispy. And you've got those streaks in the sky and scuff it out. little streak in our clouds there. If you've overcommitted you can just add a little bit of water, not too much, and you can ooh, take a little bit of that water off. You can bring it back that way, soften it out, but I quite like that streaky little look that we've got happening there. Look at that, a little bit of magic happening there. Try just this one a little bit again. A little bit on. That's just a little least bit of paint on there. To add a different feel, that skyline. If you've overcommitted, you can bring back with a little bit of the darker colours underneath. It's got a little bottom. And I'm just going to wet that now and bring that back. Get rid of most of that. And smooth it in with that white one. Bit of water I've added to my brush there. That garlic bread smells lovely. Go two different skies. I hope you get the the idea of this. Have fun with clouds. 
don't fear them. You can always work them back if you over-embellish them. A little on your brush, build it up. And yeah, let me reveal by removing the masking tape. There we go. Two quick, very simple, different skies you can create and love angelic thumbs up subscribe share comments are always welcome come back and i'll break down how we create the curving wave it's about to crash and a little bit of foam over it bye bye